he fails, I pass. That's the only way it's going to finish. I had five fish and four 30 pounders. If I'm to stand any chance of passing this, I need to catch more fish. I've been doing some calculations. Oh, wow, Jesus. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do and I don't like it. So all that's left for me to say is, I'm Mark Pitchers, ways aware of tea drinking, caffeine intolerance, beard trimming, carp freak. I've been an angler for over 30 years and caught carp from waters far and wide, big and small. For me, it doesn't matter where, as long as the challenge is exciting and inspiring. But in this series, the target is out of my control. Three challenges will be put forward on Fox's Facebook page. Then it's up to you to have the final say on what mission I take on. I've faced some incredibly tough challenges so far. Have you been drinking de icer again? Some of which I've smashed out the park. This one for the win. Others have dealt me a devastating blow. I literally have no words. But I'm still here and ready to pick up any gauntlet that is thrown down. This carp freak is not giving up without a fight. Yes! This is the challenge. What's up carp freaks and welcome to the challenge and Merry Christmas. Today we have come to the historic Orchid Lakes in Oxfordshire, home of the 30s. And I am eagerly awaiting Harry to give me my challenge. I'm here. There he is. And Am I going to read it? Yeah, yeah. You're okay. Just read oh, nice big it. Yeah. print for me as well. Yeah, okay, thank is. you. <laughs> Your challenge is say it before you wait. What a great title it that is. is. A great title, it's a great yeah. title. I was so pleased when I came up with mm. that. You and Harry must fish against each other. However, the winner is not decided by how many fish you catch, but how accurately you can guess the weight once each fish is hooked. Once each fish is hooked, you must both guess the weight within 30 seconds of a bite. Whoever is not playing the fish must guess first. The winner is the angler who has guessed closest to the total weight of carp. Good luck. Okay. So it's kind of like a, a, a sort of extreme version of play your carp right. The one I lost by an ounce. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's, 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 it's that. Out of that ounce. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm confused. I'm not going to lie. It's not that confusing, is it? Okay. You'll, you'll, I'll figure you'll it learn out. as you go I'll on. I'll figure it out as I'm going along. Yeah, yeah. We just need some graphics on the screen, some someone to write it down on a piece of paper for me and draw me a few diagrams as well to help me. But I'm pumped. I can't wait for this session. It's going to be good. Yeah, we've already had a little walk around. Yes, we've seen some fish. We've seen some fish. It's looking good. So I can't wait to get started. Let's get on them. Yeah, let's do it. Good luck. Thank you. This is the swim or swims that Harry and I have chosen. And there's two reasons why we chose here. First of all, we have seen quite a few fish feeding in this area, albeit mostly on one side of the swim. Well, all on one side of the swim, but we'll let that lie. Uh, and another reason we chose here is we needed two swims next to each other. And these are literally side by side. Um, so one side at the moment is looking a lot better than the other. But Harry tells me he's got a system to decide on who goes where. So Harry, what do we do? How do we do it? What's happening? Not getting our tops off again, are we? No. Damn it, I was going to win! <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's less of a system and more of a game. And I've got it right here. Do you want to find out? Yes, please. Pie face. Classic Christmas game of pie face. Never played it? No. No. Um, I did get this off of Amazon and it is in French. So okay. I'm not sure if you can... I've just come back from France. 
I'm actually fluent. Yeah? yeah. So you can tell us what the game is. Uh, uh, bonjour, mon petit pois. Uh, bonnet de douche. Uh, où est le sac? Uh, tu <laughs> pourrais un uh, un gros surprise, <laughs> un pie in the face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Do you want a pie? Yes. Right. Let's go. Okay. I'm a pie face amateur. I don't really know what to do. You're an expert. You've had lots of pies in your face. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, we need to pick who goes first. First. Yeah. So, rock paper scissors. Okay. Rock paper scissors shoot. Or rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors shoot. Like okay. Everybody rock, normally does. Rock paper scissors shoot. shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Hack scissor your brain. beats oh, rock oh. every time. Okay. <laughs> Okay, right, so I go first. You go first. It's a cream pie face. I like that. Oh, is that enough? No. <laughs> right. Okay. We put quite a lot on there. I don't know whether this hand is going to have any force. Right, and now I've got to spin the spinny wheel. Okay. To find out what number. Right, think two. Think two. Yes, that's two. Five. Oh, that's two. It's clearly five. This is best of three, right? It is best of three. Okay. Okay. Am I in? You're in. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> straight away. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was one click. That was unlucky. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that. There we go. Okay. Right. Here we go. Here we go. You're going to spin the wheel. Two. Two. Off. You ready? I smell, smell a curry. One. Two. No, that was one click. Oh, look, it that was, was two. one click. I'm sorry. That was two That was one clicks. click. No, it wasn't. No way. That was two quick. That's absolute bollocks. That was two Absolute. quick clicks. That was one, exactly. That was one click. Play it back. Play it back no, it you don't need it. It wasn't. It was two clicks. It wasn't. Two. They won't see that I've cheated. I don't even know if that was a click. That wasn't a full click. <laughs> no, see, it wasn't. Because I. Just, no, no, it wasn't. Because I just finished that click off. Stop it. Right, come on. You Go. cheated. Oh. Never know you cheat. How did you make the England team? Is it because you're good at cheating? Come on. All right. It's not even clicking. Oh. <laughs> Losing the cream a little bit. I think it needs a top up. Oh, three. three. This is it. Here we go. Is it on it? Yeah, yeah. That's one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Right, sudden death. <laughs> is, this how, is this how you pick swims in the World Championship? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. Two. That is two. It is two. That is two. You didn't even do three clicks. Oh! <laughs> Two. Okay. 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 <laughs> one. Oh, there you got one. Two. Oh, no. <laughs> this is destiny. Five. Five. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? That's you it. don't know, game you over. don't know. That's, that is the point, it's so random. Ah, oh, this is game over, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, which side do you want to go in? I think I'll go on the left. Oh, do you? <laughs> do you now? <laughs> okay. Well done. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, right in the air. Get that. Literally, get it. <laughs> Well, winning pie face was 
a big deal for me. Uh, I put it up there as being my greatest angling achievement to date. And what it means, of course, is I get first choice of swim. There was a lot of fish when we set up here on the left-hand side, so I'm really fancying my chances right now. So losing pie face, I'm a little bit gutted about it, to be honest. I'd have much preferred that left-hand side. There's more fish there, without a doubt, and I think with the conditions, I feel like they'd stay there, but I've just got to rely on Mark maybe fluffing his lines a little bit and, and doing something that'll push them out, me fishing very, very well, and then I might stand a chance. Make no bones about it, catching more fish in this challenge is an advantage because you're actually connected to the fish and it gives you more of an idea of how much they weigh. So that's gonna be really important. Well, on the last challenge that we filmed at the Zoo Lake in France, I felt like Harry really screwed me over. He set me a challenge that was totally unpassable and totally impossible. This time I'm out for revenge. And actually, I think I've got a really good chance with this one. I, I, I fancy my chances at guessing the way to fish when I'm playing them. So it would be great to get revenge. Whatever Mark says about the last challenge at the zoo, it, it was passable, 100%. I'd never set him a challenge that I didn't think was passable. But last Christmas, now he really did me over there. And I'm gonna make sure that this Christmas special ends on a slightly different note. He fails, I pass. That's the only way it's gonna finish. Okay, so, I don't know where this is clipped. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I'm just having a bit of a lead up. Um, the fish that we've seen anyway, I'm pretty confident the majority of the fish out here are over on Mark's side. So I'm quite happy to make a little bit of disturbance and find somewhere nice to fish, with the idea being Mark hopefully screws it up big time, spooks them all out of his swim, and then they come across my bait, in theory. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try and find something nice to fish. There's plenty of weed out there. I can see the coots and the tufties are having a good dive and picking up bits of weed and all that sort of thing. So just need to find somewhere nice to put some bait and hope that Mark pushes the fish over here. So I've had quite a few chucks now and it is uh it's pretty weedy considering uh here we are sort of early winter um but i've just found i guess the sort of furthest bit away from me that hasn't got any weed so i'm just trying to clip up sort of just to the back of the spot where the sort of silty area meets the weed it's about six foot deep and that should be a pretty good interception point, I hope. You know, the fish are over here. That spot is just, yeah, straight out in front of me. So anything that Mark decides to disturb, hopefully should come across there. I mean, unless they could just scooch out around the back and completely miss me, but we got to give it a go. So I'm quite, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to interrogate it a little bit more. I think there might be a tiny bit of silkweed on it, but. The last time I saw you cast, mm was on a 
on a video designed to help people with their casting and since then you've literally not cast. Yeah. You've thought, actually, casting's not for me. I'm actually no good at it. That's exactly it. That's exa I can't cast. That's exactly it. It's nothing to do with wanting to put bait out quietly and quickly. Nothing, nothing like that. Absolutely nothing to do with efficiency whatsoever. It's not efficiency. I've, I've put my bait out like, way before you did. So how is it more efficient? I've already finished baiting up. You're, yeah, well, you didn't have to go to the shop to get you Baileys, even, did you? you <laughs> so, good, good if you had gone to the shop to get Baileys, we'd be in, the roles would be reversed. I'm not sure they would. They would. You haven't even got one ounce of bait in yet. Don't you worry, you. You worry. Are you going to GPS this as well? <laughs> yeah. God. I'm not casting like a loser. Like, I'll be happy for you if you catch them. That's good. Fair enough. Good, thank you. That's fair enough. Okay, let's GPS this bad boy. You make me sick. I can't literally GPS. <laughs> Your bait boat will stop working, you know. That's what they do. <laughs> and then you'll have to cast, but you won't know how because you literally. Yeah, I don't know ages. how to. I haven't done it. I, I, it's, I haven't done it in 35 years of fishing. What's the obsession with casting anyway? What is the obsession with casting? The obsession is just, <laughs> they, I like, it's just a pure form of angling, isn't is it? it? What happens if you weigh down the bank and place it by hand? Doesn't count then, does it? No, because that, that's count. a bit more effort, no, isn't it? No, doesn't count, doesn't that's count. Effort, you've actually walked out of your no, swim. You can't do it, doesn't count, you haven't cast it. Doesn't count. I reckon that was in weed, the way that that went down. Yeah, it was. That's where I want to be, in the thick of it. <laughs> Right, what are you saying? Or is it me that goes first? Yeah, you got to guess first. Oh, I'm going to say 26. 26, right. I'm going to say 22. Okay. It's controversial. It's in weed a little bit at the moment though. So, here we go. I've, yeah, we've not long had the bait out. I'm now thinking that I've undergunned this fish. <laughs> I think it might be bigger than what I said. But yeah, we've not had the bait out, or the rods out for very long at all. <clears throat> Mark's had a something happen on one of his rods, might have been a trailer or something. And um, yeah, I've had a few liners. And then the middle rod's just absolutely torn off on my bronze maggot hook bait. And I'm playing my first ever orchid carp, which is nice. Yeah, especially as I got the, uh, the duff side, apparently. We hadn't seen anything on this side. But like I say, Mark making all of that disturbance over there, chugging his bait boat around the swim. God, this is proper going. Look at this. I have undergone this so, so much. Like a million percent bigger than 22. <laughs> Still could, could be getting a double take in a minute. That is a double take. Mark? Really? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to do anything or? No, pick it up. I don't know. I mean, it might it, have just done it itself. I don't it know. I'll just no, you it can up. play it. What? I don't think it's on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't think it's it, it hasn't wiped out my blood, does it? Because when I picked no, it up. No, no, it's miles away from yours. There's nothing on that, is there? Oh, yeah. Can't tell. Is there? No. No? I think there is. Is there not? No. no. Ah. Sure, sure these aren't small fish. That was that was ripping off though, wasn't it? Did it take line? Yeah, it did take line. You need to reel this in out your way. Yeah. God, what the bloody hell's going on? 
I don't think you've had a that take. That might have been a trailer. Your hooks. No, no, no. That might have been a trailer. Anyway, right, let's concentrate on this. <laughs> That's weeding me up again. I'm way off with this. This is a really decent fish, I think. He likes weeding me up. Really likes weeding me up. Come on. I've had a proper workout. My Are you going to come and help me or are you? I don't know if do you want me to land it for Ooh. you. Oh, that looks quite decent with that weight. What weight did you say? What weight did I say? I said weight? 22. What did I say? You said 25. Did I? Can you get in there and land it? What are you about you? You said 25. I said, tw yeah. Or did you say 26? No, you said 25. I don't know what to look back. I can't remember. You said 25. Go on then. There he is. Weed over his head. Looks bigger than 22. There he is. He's in oh, the net. Nice oh, mate. well done. <laughs> Nicely that's a, done. That's a nice fish. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, that's nice. Proper old scaly warrior. Oh, Definitely mate. bigger than 22. Yeah, he is. I can't buzz... remember what I said. I'm buzzing back. with that. Sure, it was 25. Who knows? He's bigger than that as He's well. He's bigger than 25. I almost said 28. I wish I had done. <laughs> I don't know why, when I first hooked him, he was like quite head shaky. So I thought, but then he just turned into a tank. Proper beat me up. Oh, mate, that's awesome. Well though, done. What a start. Nice as well. What a start. Cheers, mate. How big is that? It's a 30 pounder. Is it? Yeah. Right, Mark, shall I lift it up and you read it off? Yeah. I think, I'm not sure he's a... No, he's quite, he's quite heavy. What do you reckon? Well, it doesn't, we don't need to carry <laughs> on guessing because we've done our guessing. Right. Okay. I we'll said 26, you said 22. Yeah, I said it many times that he said 25, but I was obviously... You were wrong. I, was wrong. I said 26. You said 26. Okay, here we go. Oh. 30 pound one. 30 pound one. <laughs> Nicely awesome. done. Well 30 done, pounder, mate. yeah, cheers. Well done. What a start. What a start. It's a bit bittersweet. A bit bittersweet. I'm annoyed with myself because I nearly said 28. I, I was going to go with 28 again. I don't know why I went smaller. See, that's the thing. It doesn't, it, like at the moment, it doesn't matter. You're four pounds ahead of me. Yeah. But you could just, like, just as screw one up as I did. So. Oh, he's about buying a proper old one. Look at that, that is such a cool fish. Oh, look at that. That is one of the old Orchid Lakes originals. What an absolutely mega fish. Proper crusty, wilted fins. Little droopy tail. Ah, proper beat me up as well, considering how old this fish probably is. Just over 30 from the home of 30s, off the mark on the challenge, but losing. <laughs> awesome. Let's slip her back, or him, whichever you are. What do you reckon? Should we call it? Right, I'm yeah. going to go... 18 pounds. <laughs> I'm going to go with 25. 25. Last fish I caught was an 80. So I'm really right. terrible. 
<laughs> no, oh, I mean, I thought it was an 80. <laughs> right, well, Mark has literally had that bite as. Oh, that is our. Yeah, Mark has literally had that bite as we were doing the photos of this one, so I'm going to slip it back and say goodbye. Well done, mate. Lovely fish that. Cheers, mate. What weight did I say? 25? You said 25 and I said 18. Risky. But I like it. I like your tactics. I've got it. Well, I've got to claw it back one way or the other, haven't I? Or right. I could just be try and be consistent. I see it didn't look it, with the way it was coming in, it didn't look great. But now, do you want me to lift these up? Yeah, that'd be great if you could. Left under, huh? <laughs> I've only got wellies on, you've got waders on. <laughs> Thanks for that. I don't wipe my last rod out though. Sorry. Oh, you're close. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely closer <laughs> with that one. This might be right back at you. That's a worm hanging out now. The end. Well done. Nicely done, mate. Well Nicely done. done. Bollocks. <laughs> I think you've nailed it, haven't you? I wear the weed as well, yeah. Everything that goes in the net, <laughs> I can wait. Oh. I reckon you're looking at. I reckon you're looking at 22s. So you I reckon, reckon we'll be. That'll be better for you. Uh, I think might be a low. I 20. think you're all right with this, you know. Oh. I don't know if I said 24 or 25. We need to look back now. You said 25. Okay. You definitely said 25. Okay. Oh. We've got. 22. Five. Five. So that gives you an extra pound on me. Again. How? 18. How? 18. 18 is four pounds away from 22, and 25 is three pounds away from. Oh, that. I'm doing quite good. Oh, I'm doing quite bad. Stop that. Yeah, stop Take it. that. Take no. Stop it. Come on. Shh. There you go. A tickle, you're there. You'll stop it. I love a tickle. <laughs> I love a tickle. Well, just as Harry was. Slipping his 30 pounder back, my rod rattled off, and we got this beautiful golden common of 22 pound five ounces, I think it was. Beautiful fish, it just had to happen, just had to get a bite. We've had liners right from the get go. I was surprised I hadn't caught one up until now. I'm up and running now, and you're even further ahead of me now. And a pound, another pound ahead. He's lovely, I'm happy with that. In 2023, the challenge will be going back to its original format where you guys put forward your challenge ideas and Harry will pick one from all your suggestions and then I've got to take it on. So in the comments section below, let me know what challenge you'd like me to take on next. Unless it's a bird, that would be annoying. Right, well, it's probably been about an hour dark now. I'm just sitting, had a hot chocolate, I've just had another bite. So, Mark, what do you reckon? 21. I'm going 25. 
This one hasn't really fought a lot, he's just plodded in. Maybe that one. Uh, in the water on this side. Oh, I think you're closer again. Get on in. Go on, go on. Yeah. What did you say? 25? I said, yeah, 20, 25. Twenty-two, I reckon. That's in reality. Well, that's good for you. Great. <laughs> oh well, what a uh, nice start well done, to the mate. evening. Yeah, happy yeah, days. Yes, well that's my favourite type of fist. Right, do you want a hand? Do you want a hand? I'm good. I'm good. Go on, Thanks. <laughs> Okey dokey. Okay, I think you are closer on this one. Do you think? Yeah, I do. I think. 23 oh, something. I don't know, it doesn't feel weighty. weighty. 23, three. 23, three. So neither of us are closer. No. It's like right in the middle. Okay, well, as long as I'm not further away from you, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. I'm not screwing myself over by catching more fish. <laughs> there we go. What a cracking start to the night. 23 pound common who's beating me up a bit more on the bank than what he did in the water actually but yeah you'll have seen both Mark and I were using a natural bait approach and it really can at this time of year be the key difference between catching and not catching and yeah even though our approaches are slightly different both are working and long may it continue. What are your thoughts on that over a kettle? Don't know yet. I need to see it in action, don't I? I am liking it. Oh, oh look at that's, that! You know it's done. So it's a pan and a kettle oh. in one. I like that. Yeah. Good for doing your eggs. I don't even know if you've done it yet. Yeah. Rice and brews. Yeah. Yeah. I like that you've... Oh, look, you got enough for two more cups in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's Christmas, isn't it? it uh, yes. <laughs> um, I have a present, but it's not from me. But I was told you to give a... you it. Oh, you've got the present now? Yeah, Are we yeah, doing yeah. present now? I've got a present for you and it is from me. Oh. I mean, I did have, but I ate them. So... <laughs> <laughs> But the thought was there. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> not really. So what would have you given me? Some hobnobs. Ah. Oh. Sorry. Proper hobnobs as well. Yeah, not, yeah, they were. Not OTs. Yeah, hobnobs. Oh. Not OT Mabusis. <laughs> but the present, it's from Wendy, Ellie oh. May, Ant and Jay. They Wendy, came to my Ellie lake. Wendy, Ellie May, Ant and Jay. Yeah. Oh, that's very kind. They they came well, to my lake. Uh, it's some shortbread in the in the shape of penis. Is <laughs> they said make sure you give that to Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Dunking dickies. Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're gonna love watching me put them in my mouth, aren't that's, you? That's that's well, yeah. Right. Ironically, I'm gonna go and get your present. Okay. Is it shaped like a in, in the no, shape of a penis? I, no. Okay, I'm surprised. <laughs> it's also shortbread. Oh wow! But in a carpy green tartan tin. That is amazing. Wow, that's epic. Thank you very much. Well, in that case, I will give you your present. It's not. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a, just an OT, it's not even, so a 55p packet of biscuits. I've bought you like a, pro, it's in a proper tin. Yeah, I feel bad now, but it is. Yeah, so you feel bad because you've given me shortbread shaped like dicks and the cheapest But we love OT Mabusi biscuits. Yeah, well, I, do, I don't, I, yeah, I do love an OT Mabusi, so. Everyone loves an OT Mabusi, there you go. Cheers. So, what else Merry can I Merry Christmas. <laughs>
<laughs> what else? What else have I got here that I can pretend I bought for you? As a <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Yes. Okay. Which, where well, you're dipping in, you're dipping in. Which, oh, which... you've got to hold it by the balls and yes. dip the tip. It's standard. You? Okay. Are you going tip and. Um. No, I'm right. just going to dip, dip the tip in for now. Way. I, I've gone. You can literally balls deep. I reckon it's going to need a while though. You reckon? I was just going to put the tip in. I'm, no, I'm sort of going in and out with it. Right, this is too much. I didn't do it. Then Wendy. <laughs> Wendy and Ellie May. Yeah. Oh, they're good. They're good. Mm. Are they really? Yeah, really good. I'm putting the tip in again. Good on a dunk. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. A good dunking biscuit. Very yeah, good biscuit, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Wendy, Ellie Mae, Ant and Deck. Is that alright? Ant, Ant and <laughs> Ant and Jay. Ant and Jay. <laughs> what carpy trends are we gonna see in 2023? Um What have we seen in 2022? 2022. The year of the bait boat for you. No. The year I, what? no, I'm like Phil Schofield. I kept it quiet for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and then this year I came out. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that it's is brave. kind of It's brave of me to do so. See, I've I've known you for quite a while, and yeah, you were very closeted. Yeah, yeah. In like, you'd never you've never and put like, it on film before. Like Phil Schofield, it was something I only ever did on holiday, and then, but now I decided, <laughs> what the hell, do it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Even where you're not allowed. Yeah, yeah. Brave of me, though. I think. But it is. It's brave. It is. I'm proud of you. And that was a great Phil Schofield gag. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, it's almost time for me to climb in my sleeping bag. The temperatures are really dropping, but we've had a good fire tonight, a few Baileys hot chocolates, and Although I might be one fish behind Harry, I'm actually in the lead on the challenge. I don't really know what to expect tonight. Um, I was feeling mega confident when I got this side of the swim. There's lots of fish here. Um, although, I mean, I might have caught one fish, but the spot that I had the most confidence in has failed to produce. And um, I think if I've not had anything by the morning on that spot, then I'm going to be needing to have a bit of a rethink because I had lots of indications, lots of liners that didn't really amount to anything. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what the night brings. Well, it's uh, about 6.30 in the morning. It's just started absolutely peeing down. And um, it's taken quite a while to get another bite, but the middle rod has just ripped off. I've struggled to get a jacket on. And I'm in, oh, we got to cool it. Mark, where, oh, Mark's hiding. <laughs> Mark's hiding in my bivy. We've got to cook, what are you saying? 25. Oh, I'm saying 28. Ooh. I'm saying 28. But yeah, actually, just before I went to bed about 10 o'clock last night, I did put out probably another 10 spots of just maggot. I just felt like I wanted a little bit more bait out there. 
Um, I didn't know whether the fish were coming in and cleaning out quite quickly because shortly after spotting, I was getting liners every time I put bait out. So I did that and uh, yeah, sure enough, there was enough bite. bait out there to get me another bite before it gets light, which should be pretty soon. If, you, if, if you're up to it, I yeah, thought you I were just, just sheltering wait. away. Wait, if you're up to it. I think I'm closer. I think I'm closer. That's a nice fish, I'd say. Yes. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh. Well, we're literally just dealing with that one I've just caught, which actually looks like a good 30 pounder. Um, Mark's just putting it in the sling. And um, yeah, my left hand rod's gone now. So they've obviously really got on it this morning. Um, and this one also doesn't feel too bad. Might call it. You're calling this at 31? Oh, that leaves me in a difficult position. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Blue. It's strange that I want to be under 30. Is that, is that a weird thing to want? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a bit of a struggle after it got caught on the other rod. So this is this is quite a change. Talk, change talk me through what? it. What's going on? <clears throat> this is the first time I've seen you cast in about well, a year. Since the last time we went fishing together, yeah. No, you didn't cast him uh, at the zoo. That was the last time we went fishing together. Oh God, yeah. You didn't cast at all. <laughs> <laughs> so well, yeah. I said to you last night, didn't I? I wasn't totally convinced with that, that spot I was fishing. Yeah. I thought. I don't know, I wasn't told, the amount of liners that I had on it. Yeah. It should have done a fish and it, and it didn't. So, but it's hard because that's where- I'm not, I'd be, I'd be changing things up if, if I was you. Like, yeah, well, it's just, I mean, I have. Well, well done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we were saying last night, but it's hard, isn't it? Because that was the sort of general area that we saw fish feeding when we got here yesterday. Yeah, morning, yeah. And in, I'm, in I'm pretty there. sure that they would have fed on, on, on that spot over them rods, but- Yeah. I'd, for, Weird, for whatever reason, you just weren't Nothing getting the Nothing wrong with the presentation or anything like that. I know that that works fine, but, uh, but yeah, the spot that you were fishing was a lot clearer than, than mine. Yeah, yeah, a lot Re really clean, nice, smooth silt. Yeah, I didn't have, I when I was casting out with a bare lead, I wasn't able to drag a lead back. I could, I could sort of cast into it and then lift the lead out of the weed freely. And that was the only, only place oh, anywhere else there, I was casting a lead. I was having to really sort of yank the lead out of the weed. So that was just an area of, of light weed. And I was, I was quite happy to fish on that area of light weed. 
But for whatever reason, that, like you say, I think fish have fed there. Perhaps the presentation wasn't quite right or something. Don't know, but for the amount of liners I had instantly, I should have had fish. So yeah, I've moved a little bit right. Mm, and a little bit. <laughs> it's still in my water. Is it? It's on the boundary. Boundary is my water. So the boundary is also my, so I could put a rod on that spot as well if it's well, by it'd be that rod. Silly role. to do that, wouldn't it? Now that I've done that. Well, but, yeah. Judging by your performance so far, yeah. But no, spawning. I thought I use the bait boat, be nice and stealthy. There's fish in front of us. Get the bait boat out, nice and stealthy. Oh, this splashing, crashing. <laughs> These fish don't care, do they? They really don't care. I think they're kind of used to Most it. Most fish here. don't care. It's, but, um, it's all in your head. That's I fine. thought you had gloves on for a minute there. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I honestly thought, I'm like, what the fuck's he got in his hand? <laughs> I, I remember you. fishing with bron bronze maggots for like chub and just like putting a pint out in a day. You have so you fingers your face a bit as well. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Oh, I've got an itch. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. Really bad. I thought, I, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be really edgy and get bronze maggots. Nobody uses bronze maggots so for carp edgy. fishing. Proper edgy. And whilst they have been effective, that's not good. Is that what you're putting it down to? You're putting it down to the bronze factor? Well. What factor bronze is that, by the way? What? I don't know. It's proper Saint-Tropez, isn't it? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How big do you reckon this one is, Mark? I'm going to say 26. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. It's been a good, really good average size of fish. But yeah, this is mad. So it's literally, we've just, yeah, it's just got light and uh, just stopped raining and we we're just getting ready to do these other two fish. I put my rods back out and uh, yeah, it's gone again. They've just, I topped up again with some more bronze maggots, as you can see, with just a few chop worms in it this time and it didn't take them long to get back onto it. My only thing is, is I'm not getting these guesses right. That's, my problem is I am not getting these guesses right. And for all, all the time that I'm catching, it's absolutely great, but I am super competitive, like stupidly competitive and Whilst beating Mark on catching the fish, it doesn't doesn't even matter, and I want to beat him on on the challenge. So I need to I need to improve. At the moment, I'm in the advantaged position of having more fish to to play. So it gives me a better a, a, a better idea of how big the fish is. But I've been getting it wrong, so I need a bit of a turnaround, I've got to admit. I think, I think you're closer than I am. I can't really tell. It's the first common that we've had. Right. Come I on. had a common. It's not. I've had a common. You've had a common. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what am I even talking about? I literally don't know what I'm talking about. The first common I've had this morning... Like literally chatting absolute rubbish. Oh, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. Go on, you'll do. Yeah. Oh, wave. <laughs> 30, 36. Four, really? 36.15. Wow. God, I was way off. <laughs> well, so, so was I. Jesus. Oh my God. Um, is it 36.15? Mate, I am buzzing with that. <laughs> That's awesome, mate. How about that? I was 
twelve pound out on that estimate. <laughs> so that you were you were nine. I was nine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that means you're still ahead of me after this one. Well, it's quite a long fish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, how about that? Getting on for thirty-seven pounds. <sighs> I know that <laughs> the catchphrase for Orchid for the last 20, 25 years has been the home of the 30s, but I didn't quite realise just how many there were and how good the average size is. This has put me three pounds closer to the total that Mark is on in terms of guessing as well. So another fish under my belt and a bit closer to being on top of this challenge. Come on. This one could be close. Oh yeah, it's a bit hollow. Closer. It's a long fish, but a bit hollow. What is it? 30 pound 13. Ah. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> no. Oh, why couldn't you have been lighter? Three ounces out on my guess. It's another That's 30, I'm so guess. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Look how purple his head is. Yeah, yeah. Like a big bell end. <laughs> oh, That's how I like my cat to look. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. How cool is that one? Yeah, just under 31, unfortunately. I mean, I can't be complaining. Yeah, this is the middle one of those three. And what an awesome fish, wrinkly old skin quite rough to the touch. Um, yeah, cool colours on it, proper old one. This is going good and I've got a lush common in the net, which I'll show you now. How nice is that? I think I'm about bang on. I think you are as well, yeah. That's what we're saying. 31.12. Yeah. 31.12, oh, okay. It went to 14 then, you might even be even closer. 31.13. 31.13. Okay. I don't know what this means for the scores. We'll have a tot up in a moment. Let's just look at this fish because it's awesome. I mean, look at that. Well, how about that? Isn't that awesome? Sticking its fin up. What, like just a proper, Mark's just said it, a proper English common carp. I'm running out of superlatives really. I've had five fish and four 30 pounders. It's pretty incredible. It's not often that you have a session where the first thing that you do is the thing that works and you just carry on pressing repeat and it just keeps on working. But I'm fortunate in that I'm having one of those sessions and maybe losing pie face at the start was a blessing in disguise, who knows, but pretty much bang on with the weight. We need to tot up the scores, but look at that, just mega. <sighs> look at that, absolutely awesome. Stop saying awesome. You, you, were, you were privately schooled. I would like to. I don't feel like you've expanded you your that. vocabulary to its fullest. I want some fresh, new superlatives to describe the moment. Got like what? I don't know. Use your private education to come up with some fresh, new ones. Splendiferous. That's more like it. <laughs> right. This has been absolutely splendiferous. <laughs> right. Let's put him back. That's. That, I mean, that's a, that's a posh superlative. I, I was expecting something a little bit more up to date, to be honest with you. Great. Nah, 
more than that. Come on. I just want to put it back, to be get, honest. Get it back. <laughs> yes. Now that is fantastic. <laughs> So in terms of rigs, I was definitely late to the party when it comes to the Ronnie rig spinner, whatever you want to call it. However, over the last year and a half, two years, I've been using it a lot. And the reason for using it is when we started developing the Wygate long shank, to me, it looked like the perfect hook. And in terms of testing it, I thought I need to test it using a very, very popular rig and the rig that's probably the best suited to that hook. So I used it and I loved it. And the hook holds are insane. So I've been, been using the hook with various other rigs, but um, a lot of the time with a Ronnie and that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm fishing my hook baits as a wafter um, and I've got basically two hook bait options, which are the two baits that I'm putting in, um, maggots and worms. So you can see on this, um, this first one here, I've just got a yeah, little bunch of bronze maggots, there's probably 20 or so on there, piece of foam underneath just to give it a little bit of buoyancy. And then I'm using a size four wide gape long shank, and I'm actually using one of our flippers um, to secure the quick change swivel onto the hook. Haven't got a ring on the swivel, just tied it to a little loop and like I said, that's fished as a wafter. And then for my other hook bait, the worm hook bait, they are fiddly. Using worms is fiddly, it's messy. Um, there's various ways you can attach them. Using a, uh, a bait band is one of them, but I like to floss them on to the micro hook ring swivel that's on the hook. So I put a piece of foam on first, thread that down the bait floss. I then thread on four worms, but each worm I pierce through twice. So I pierce through the saddle and then I um, sort of loop it back over and pierce through it again. So it's pierced through twice, each worm. So there's four worms on there and then another piece of foam that's then blobbed um, with, a, with a lighter. And then I snip where I've looped over. So there's four snips, snip those bits over and then you're left with a hook bait that looks like that. Of course, I'm using Camatex Soft. Absolutely love that as a, uh, as a hook link. I always feel like where it lands in maybe a bit of a C shape on the bottom, you're giving the fish more rope to hang themselves. The, um, the hook holds have been incredible uh, so far this session. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how things are, are working out and I couldn't really have asked for much more from this session uh, at this stage. I think instead of a Mark's Musings, we should have a pitcher's top tip. <laughs> top tip, always turn your alarms on. That's, that's a good tip. Why is that line not in that clip? Why is my tip bent round from the butt ring? Why is the line pointing over there instead of over there? <laughs> ah, that'll explain a lot. Right, what, ah, um, oh, I can almost see it. Um, uh, Bream. 22. Okay, I'm gonna go with 23. Ooh. Yeah. So there's not gonna be much gain made either way. I just don't think it feels very big. Oh, well done though. That's, gonna... that's a turn up for the books. I mean, bad angling on the not turning on the alarm. Oh, was it? <laughs> you don't know that. Would I have caught this <laughs> with the alarms turned on? Don't we don't know. know. Look, it's just there. It's just there. I can't really see it, but I'm going for it. Good netting. Good blinds netting that. Well, that's right Yay. in the sun. 
Okay, so it wasn't, well done, on the, it wasn't on the two rods that I found the new spot and did all that with it. That was on, on the same rod as before. That you caught on yesterday. Caught on yesterday, yeah. Well done. Thank you. It is 21, 12. Okay, 21, 12. Oh, got a lovely, clean looking 21 pound common. Nice to get another another fish under my belt. It's been a while since I've had a bit of action. Uh, I mean, I say it's had a while. It probably would have happened a lot sooner if I turned my alarm on. But um, I had hoped it would have fallen to the, the new spot. I think that's the spot that's gonna do me a few bites. If I can get that new spot working, that'll do me a few bites, but I'm still gonna keep this rod where it is and hopefully pick off the odd fish as well. Because at the moment, that's the only one that's working for me. But yeah, Harry guessed this one closer than me. I think that puts him, I, I, th I think you are now winning on that one, aren't you? With the Do you think? overall, I think so. We need to have a bit of a, a top up, but yeah, I've had some guesses that have been way off. And I think, uh, yeah, I think you've clawed it right back. Right, let's slip it back. Well, Harry and I have both gone for very similar tactics on this session in that we are both using a natural bait approach. At this time of year, moving into the winter, natural baits can be very difficult to beat. And having spoke to quite a few orchid regulars who have fished here in winters in the past, they've all said that the natural bait approach has by far been the best tactic. So it would be silly to do anything different. Um, we are fishing slightly different tactics. So I've gone for a chop worm and caster approach, whereas Harry's gone for chop worm and maggots. Um, and this is the rig that I like to present my worm hook baits on. It's tied using 20 pound Camatex Soft. That goes down to a size six wide gape long shank hook, one of the new patterns. Now, since I've been using these hooks, I haven't had a single hook pull. I've had one hook pull on this session, and for whatever reason, I actually tied it up using a standard wide gape hook, not the wide gape long shank. Um, that fish went into a, a big ball of weed, and uh, yeah, as it was pulling through, the hook sadly pulled. If I'd had one of these on, maybe there'd be a different story to tell. Who knows? But how I like to present my worm hook baits, what I've done here, I'm fishing it on a, a blowback rig. Um, I've got a little bit of only a short length of shrink tube over the eye of the hook there, just to help it turn. And I'm, I'm convinced that really does massively improve the hooking properties of the rig. So I've got a small ring tied level with the barb and I've got quite a long hair. So the full length of that hair is doubled over. The reason I've done that is it just makes it harder to sort of cut the worms into. I, I think if I had a, 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 just a small loop for a hair on the bottom, that sort of single strand of a 20 pound braid could act a bit like a cheese wire. And if you're going for, for long casts, on here we haven't, but if you're going for long casts, then it could kind of cut through the worms and they may come off on impact with the water. So I've got a long doubled over hair and I've also tied an additional just overhand knot halfway down the hair. Now, before I thread on my worms, I have a rubber caster threaded on the hair and that is buffered against the top knot of the hair itself. I then thread on three worms, followed by another rubber caster, which rests above the middle knot on the hair. I then thread on another three worms, and another rubber caster, and then the boily stop. So because I've got the, the knot halfway down the hair with a rubber caster above it, it means nothing can all slide down. If, 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 you, if you cast in at range, um, then worms aren't going to all slide down. If I didn't have that rubber caster in the middle and I just had a long length of, of worms, six worms on the hair, quite often I've found that they all sort of gather at the bottom and uh, they can, you can end up with quite a long hair with just all the worms sort of bunched up right at the end. But by having the long hair with the knot to act as a, as a bit of a, a stopper and the rubber caster, it keeps them as they are now. 
So like the full length of the hair makes a nice, attractive mouthful. I mean, all them amino acids and natural attractors leaking from them worms, it's hard for any carp to resist. What I have done when I've threaded the, the worms onto the hair, any worms that kind of threaten the hook points that may sort of look like they could potentially wriggle over and mask the hook point and impede the, the hooking potential, I snip them off. So there's no worms that can sort of loop over and become impaled on the hook point and, and compromise the hooking properties of the rig. But yeah, that's the, the worm rig that's served me well over the years and yeah, it hasn't done too bad for me on this session too. Right, so, mm -hmm. I've been doing some calculations. So, in terms of your distance from the total score, yeah, as in, so the pounds and ounces that you're on, yeah, is twenty five eleven. Okay, and the pounds and ounces that I'm on, yeah, is twenty five nine. Oh wow, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> mm. Like, literally two ounces. Yeah, pretty close. So all to play for. Wow. It really is. At the halfway mark, I'd say we are. Yes. Pretty much halfway. bang on the halfway mark. What are your thoughts and feelings? Thoughts and feelings. I'm sad that you lost one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy I lost one. I'm, I'm actually sad. Yeah, you do look quite teary. <laughs> not that sad. Twenty twenty two. What was all that about? That, well, yeah. It's, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, d do I? I don't, I don't. It was the year of the filming runs for ages with your clutch that slack. If you unslacken it by one more click, your spool would fall off. <laughs> it was that year. It was the year of that. It was that year. What and was all that about? What's all that about? Have you done it? No! Would you do it? No! Could you do it? No! I could never do that. I always fish I locked up could. anyway. I've never, I've, I don't think I've had a screaming take since 1994. <laughs> if you're getting screamers, there's something wrong. Can't Tell I did have a screamer last week, I was off an 80. So you, you, you can allow that. Is that just you dropping in that you caught an 80 again? for the second time this I session. thought this was a competition. How many times you could tell me you've won the World Championship? I've not, I've <laughs> you've mentioned that twice. I've not mentioned that. I thought you've this was a competition. That, that happened and you've mentioned your 80 pounder twice. I've, I've, there's been twice we've been talking about you winning the World Championships twice. Not that I haven't spoken about it. You have. Off camera, conveniently. I haven't. You're Literally talking about haven't. it now. You brought it up. <laughs> I bet you didn't get a screamer off of that 80 I did pounder. actually. And I was fishing pretty much. One more click and it would have been like as tight as it would go. The opposite. The opposite of what other people do actually. One less click, spool falls in the lake. I think you need to demonstrate this. Yeah. yeah. I think it. you should make your own, your own, like, because, because there's plenty of people watching this who won't have seen those videos. So basically what it is, it's, it's, Instagram angling, isn't it really? Mm. You're angling for likes. You're not angling. Mm. And you'd never do that? No. You'd never fish for likes? No. Never. When do I fish for likes? Name a situation. Really? Hey, every time, wait, that time when you caked your reels in, in, in mud. They were already caked. <laughs> All right, you took a photo of your mud, your caked reels. Yeah. And you've posted oh. that a couple of times and every Sorry. time it kicks off. I, I, I misunderstood. You mean the time... You, you fished you, for likes. Yeah. You, you made it sound like I deliberately caked my reels in extra mud. I mean, there were... Sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't fishing for likes. That was fishing for bites. That's a massive difference. Yeah, actually. And you got a lot of bites. Yeah, which made me do it twice. Yeah. I got that many bites and yeah. did it again. And you I mentioned- put two, I put two rods on a spot. Quite regularly on Instagram, you mentioned mallets, which is fishing for bites. You do do that a I lot. I do do that quite a lot. <laughs> bait boats as well. <laughs> Guaranteed to get a bite with a bait fishing boat. For bites, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So there is a difference. Fishing for bites or fishing for lives. Yeah, there is a, there is a difference. Okay, yeah. Um, anyway, I think you should make one. Fish, fish, fish for likes. I think we, we, you should. Fi I think you should fish for likes. 
Well, you can you can do it now. You can demonstrate what these videos actually look like. Okay, and when this challenge goes live the same day, I'll upload the reel yeah. to my Instagram page? Your Instagram page. And yeah, see <laughs> and see how many likes it gets. Yeah. Okay, finish the brew and get fishing for likes. Okay. Okay, that's what it's all and about. And comment below if you think that Mark fishes for likes on his Instagram page. Why would you say that? Interaction. I'm literally fishing for comments. Now. Okay. I like, I like what you're doing. Okay, so... Yeah, you're going to have to help me with this. So, for full effect, can you get in the water, please? And slacken my clutch off. Right to the point where the spool is about to fall off. Right. Oh, I don't... That would have made it fall off. That would... <laughs> oh, one clip. Where's... There we go. You want it so the bobbin is actually taking line off the spool. It's that slack. What? Okay. Do you want me to take it out? The, out yeah, your line take clip? it out the clip. Yeah. Oh, well I'll turn it off for now because we don't need it. Don't on need now. it on now. I mean, I mean, literally the bobbin is is taking line off the spool. That's how you want it. Oh, that that's is so slack. slack. That's that's how you want it for full effect. Yeah. That does take if you yeah the bobbin take takes a click, line a, a click off. <laughs> that's how you want it. Yeah. Okay, that's how you want to fish it. Right now I can turn it on. Yeah, and you're right to get in in the water and. So you want me to go at the end of your rod yeah, and pull just, the line? Yeah, that's be just out of shot. Yeah. And then, yeah, just pull the line. Yeah. So just go a bit. Right. Will I be all right here? I can see your line. You, you want to be a bit more? A bit there you go. Yeah, I should, I tell, I'm just going to move these buckets as well so I can film everything. Because I want to be stood here for ages, don't I? Filming all this. <laughs> yeah. So I'll move them spod buckets out of the way. I, oh, I've got to jump down as well. I've got to jump down to the rods, all dramatic and everything. Yeah. Like massive splash and like... <gasps> and then film it for a bit longer. <laughs> so... Okay, okay, this is gonna be good. Right then, so I'm gonna be in the bivvy, I'll zip up as well. Yeah. Um, I'll be in there, fully zipped up. You just shout me when. Shout you when what? You need me to start pulling the line. Okay, yeah, 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 right. Um, okay, I need a lighter. Oh, it's kicking off already. Right then. I think we're about ready. I can go there, zip up. That's the dramatic effect. See you in a bit. I can't find my lighter. Can't, can't get to the rod without a brew. Light. Got my water. Hang on, just hang on. Boil! Come on! Oh, tea bags. Where's my brew? the lid and put the lid on milk I haven't got milk here we go here we go Oh, 
Damn it, bro! Come on, come on, come on! Right. Ah. Uh. Ah, bastard, it's gone! How do you think that went? I think that went perfect. That's gonna get so many likes. How do you think it went? It took a while. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> Nearly seven yeah. minutes. I think it was, was accurate. Yeah, seven accurate. minutes in real time. We'll edit it down to a minute though, Yeah, obviously. Yeah. That was good. Well, we're going into the second and final night of this challenge and there's everything to play for still. There's just two ounces in it. But if I'm to stand any chance of passing this, I need to catch more fish. It's much easier to guess the weight of a fish when you're the one in control, when you're the one playing it, rather than watching someone else and trying to guess based on the, the bend of the rod and how much line the fish is taking. But I mean, there is just one more night to go and there may only be one more fish that's caught. But if I'm to pass this challenge, that one more fish needs to fall to my rods. Mark's just hooked one, um, about four o'clock in the morning. Been watching him play it for the last 20 seconds. I'm gonna say it's not very big. 15, I'm saying. Oh, I, I think you're right. I don't think it's very big. I'm gonna say, what is it, three, two ounces in it? Currently, I wanna say 15, what, three. What? Right, I can. I see what you're trying to do here. I see what you're trying to do, and I don't like it. That's not on. Oh, look, he's just popped up Ooh, there. It's there. And I'll tell you what, we're both pretty close. Oh, I don't know who's who's got this. Oh. That's literally a 15 pounder, isn't yeah. it? Like. Right. Yeah, he's like. Oh, I'm so. Annoyed. Well, he's bigger than 15, so... At the average size that we've been having, I've gone, oh yeah, 15. That's like, <laughs> probably yeah. took my eye off the ball. It's cause it, it is early in the morning. I think we're up. both half asleep, weren't we still? Oh, that was silly of both of us, really. 19 pound three. three. Okay, I have to admit, when I first picked up the rod I wasn't sure if this was a carp or not it was in a, a ball of weed I could feel something on the end wasn't quite sure what was going on the take was literally just a couple of beeps very bream like and um, it was because of all that that Harry called it quite low he said 15 pound and I have to be honest I did think it felt heavier than that but I wanted to play it safe and uh, yeah I've gone a little bit over that was my chance really to sort of pull it away from Harry but here we are, we've got a, a gnarly old 19 pounder. And I think all that's left for me to say is challenge complete. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously and not. Obviously I'll see you not. again in, in the new year. Well done me, it's a pass. See you later. That's it, isn't it, yeah? It's over? No. Yeah, it's done, yeah? That's what we said, next fish the winner, we said. 
that we I'm pretty did. sure that's what we said. But uh, no, there's about six hours of this challenge remaining. It has been a quiet, a quiet night for both of us. But it is strange how all my bites have come on one rod. I've had nothing from open water. All my three fish have come on the left hand rod. And to be honest, I'm quite happy if I don't catch any more, as long as Harry doesn't catch any more. There's two and a half hours left of this challenge and I haven't had a bite for 24 hours and I'm one ounce behind Mark. He's, he's absolutely done me. <laughs> like, I can't see another bite coming, if I'm honest. It's, oh, there's still time, but the fish have moved out. I've, we've seen four or five show over the other side. The guys opposite us, um, definitely caught a few through the night. We saw lots of lights on over there and, and they've just pushed out and I don't know if I'm going to get another bite and it's pretty much whoever gets the next bite wins because I believe that that advantage and with how close it is will decide who wins this challenge ultimately and if neither of us get a bite well that's it I'm done for. Well there's only a couple of hours of this challenge remaining and I don't think it's looking too good for another bite, if I'm honest, it's, uh, it's very quiet. But uh, if it stays like that, that will uh, suit me just fine. It's, uh, it's a strange position to be in though. I'm a couple of fish behind Harry, but I'm winning the challenge. So yeah, I'll take that. Right then, let's name this baby of yours. What? Time to name your baby. Well, we haven't got a name yet. Well, thankfully I have. <laughs> I've got several for you to choose from. I'm not, obviously not choosing any of yours, am I? Oh, hang on, hang on. We had a telephone conversation not long ago where I said, if I pass the challenge, I get to name your baby. And you were like, yeah, okay, no problem. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> it, that li it literally never happened. I, I, it absolutely did happen. It didn't. You know fine well it happened. It didn't You were like, well, I'm not going to fail. So yeah, go, you said do it. That's exactly what <laughs> you said. <laughs> okay. You said, I'm not going to fail. So yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay, let me see what I've got here. Hang on, I haven't even failed yet. So what do I get if We've you literally fail? got for 15 minutes. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I'm not agreeing to this but you can carry on. I mean, you're not agreeing to it. It might be good names. I, I want, oh, I all right, let's pick. hear them then. Okay, let me find them, I'm on my phone. <laughs> I've got Algonon. Then I've got Barnaby, that's a posh name. Mm -hmm. Balthazar, Digby. My next door neighbor's dog's called Digby. <laughs> Ganymede, Humphrey, that's posh. Horatio, <laughs> Merlin, it's a little bird. It's also and a, a wizard. It's also a wizard. So, yeah. there you go. What's the poshest bird you can think of? A quail. Yes, quail. That's <laughs> on. <laughs> I thought, what about shadow or panther? So imagine they're bringing back oh. the program gladiators and yeah. they're looking for new gladiators. And it's like, right, okay, they're auditioning for gladiators. Right, we need someone to fill the role of panther. In walks in young Charrington, what's your name? Panther, got the job. <laughs> <laughs> Literally got it straight away. Got it, it's already, it's already got the name, got the job. Also, what I thought if they need new gladiators, Destroyer, Destroyer Charrington. Okay. That's, that's the best one so far. Okay, good. What about from one of my favorite films, Ghostbusters? 
Zool. That was the, I think it was, was it the dog thing that lived <laughs> in the fridge? Uh, speaking of dog things, he wasn't a dog and he didn't live in a fridge. Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca Charrington. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> He wasn't a dog and he didn't live in a fridge. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right, then I got car names. There's some great car names that are baby names. Of course as well. you got car names. Car name, yeah. Cinquecento. Cinquecento <laughs> Charrington. Yeah? You like this one? Hot Rod. Hot Rod Charrington. Yeah? That's great. Then I thought, what if your child wanted to be gender neutral? So you have to have fluid names that can I'm pretty be. sure most of these have been quite fluid. Yeah, so I was thinking highly fluid on this one. Right. Waterfall. <laughs> cloud. A Cloud Charrington. No. Bullrush. Droplet. <laughs> okay, got a bit of help from Kieran on this one. I like this one. Puddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You have them celebrities that name their children after just random stuff, like the dude from Coldplay, Apple. Right. And Michael Jackson called his kid Blanket, yeah? Yeah. What about Sledgehammer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? It's, it's quite strong. It is a, it's a strong, powerful name, Sledgehammer Charrington, Lee Fox. You've got to think of that. You've got to think of his future. That's my favourite one. Sledgehammer? Yeah. I think also the best one, Santa. <laughs> Santa Charrington. No one, you don't hear anyone called that. There's just one, one person. But imagine if he's in a club, girl comes up to him, what's your name? Santa. Like, what? Straight away. Icebreaker, innit? He's got her, done her, literally doing her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I'm thinking, I'm, I'm looking out for your, your, your son here. <laughs> okay, are we, is it over yet? Well, what well, time are we on? Um, I think out of these suggestions, one of them deserves to be at least a middle name. One of them is, is, is middle, work, middle name worthy. <laughs> so, you've got to pick. I don't even have to pick. You do, this with it. You've got, like, look at the time. 11.30, it ends at 11.30, this challenge. We'll just wait, just wait till that goes to 11.30. Tell me when it's gone. It's off. It's off. Ah! 11.30. Right, challenge over, I win, what we're naming the baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. It, it is. It's not. Sledgehammer. Can I call him Sledgehammer at least? Yeah, all right. Okay, that's, that's something. <laughs> well, that was a strange challenge. Harry's caught more fish than me, but luckily for me, he's terrible at guessing the weight of his fish, and I've managed to eke out a challenge by an ounce. And I think that is perfect payback for the Play Your Carp Right challenge, where I failed by an ounce. Failed by an ounce last time, done him by an ounce this time. So all that's left for me to say is challenge complete. Sledgehammer. Yes, yeah, Sledgehammer. But it only has to be a middle name.